tonight with more. As Hurricane Sandy cleanup continues, the efforts are getting fewer headlines where we live. And local electrician is hoping that people don't forget. We're up to about uh, 60 mile an hour winds right now. Back home in Bellevue, Colin Caulfield tells who he can. Most of the people that out there are they're waiting for this help. They're screaming for Caulfield it. Caulfield is a licensed electrician and spent the last two weeks embedded in Long Island working for a FEMA subcontractor. Keeping track of, of the generators. Giving emergency power to police, fire stations, nursing homes. In the days following, tensions rising on the priority of power. Police convoys needed to deliver generators to gas stations. When the gas stations don't have the power to pump it, well, that caused some issues. I saw in the news while I was out there, one guy was shot at a gas station. Even as thousands of people are still without power, Caulfield says the disaster response of FEMA has greatly improved since the very harsh criticism it faced in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. So it's our responsibility as a country to concentrate our attention where one of these things happened, happens and give FEMA all the support that we can. And that includes donations to Sandy victims. A lot of people there that have no heat, it's getting cold. I mean, it is that time of the year. And again, any help that could come from around here to those people, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Everywhere I went, even though this is not the first time Caulfield has assisted in disaster recovery. He was on the ground earlier this year for Hurricane Isaac and in Iowa for historic flooding in 2008. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.